Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. We've made it to Arcades. Last episode, we explored the lower class section. Today, we're going to check out the upper class section. And it's really cool so far, so I can't wait to see what else this city has in store for us. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you guys in the comments. Ooh. The Imperial City of Arcades. This is gonna be like huge, like bigger than Robin Oster and everything else. You're gaping like a fish out of water. I'm just checking out the city, even if it is the Empire. You've changed, Vaughn. You were always marching to your own beat, almost like you were impatient even, in a good way. Maybe it's because I've seen war now. <laughs> Never imagined I'd ever come this far away from home. Hey, Lars is here in the city, isn't he? He's a tough one. I wonder how he's doing. <laughs> you always were a soft touch, Vaughn. You know what's amazing? I always thought I'd go my whole life without meeting people like the Princess or Lord Larsa. And here we are in the capital. I know. It's a little over my head sometimes. Good, Vaughn. You've come to understand the difficulties of serving royalty. Hey, I'm just along for the ride. That wasn't a complaint, was it, Bosch? <clears throat> right. Let's get moving. Hey, don't change the subject. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're here. Oh, God. <laughs> this is we're going to be exploring this place for at least an hour. Probably we won't be able to finish exploring it tonight. But everybody is uh, going to be really well dressed. I mean, look at these outfits already look really cool. I have an elderly friend, a court musician by trade to hear him play the lute. You would think it's saying. We go our separate ways here, Vaughn. I've got some business to attend to. We'll meet again later. Huh? Hey. Oh, guess we're not doing any hunts. <laughs> okay. Well, he's still in our party. I don't know. I do hope that girl found us tickets to the Mummer's farce. And the right number on the right day. She can't be trusted with such things. Get her little parasol. It's been five years since I finally quit my lodgings in old Arcades. Did I still lack the guilt to open a boutique of my own? Oh boy. This is a little bit overwhelming. I do want to talk to everybody, just warning you guys right now. Population of this great city continues to soar. And buildings sprout like toadstools after the rain in this unruly garden of Arcades. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. I was asked by my mother to buy tickets to the farce, yet I bought one too many. Oh, my mother despises waste. I shall be punished for sure. Oh, we'll just give one to me and she'll never know. I'm having trouble putting a man I met business associate of my father from my mind he was so dashing so mysterious of course i'm certain a gentleman of his means would be aff affianced at the very least of course he would well these are definitely like it's it's definitely already you can see a big difference between like wow look at this guy i like his uh his his ponytail and his mustache and his pointy beard. 
I was born of empire, raised by empire. <laughs> born of the blood. <laughs> How does it go in Bloodborne? Our eyes are yet to be opened. I was born of empire, raised by empire, and within her walls did I grow old. Yet this city was not always grand, nor the empire always prosperous. Youths today, they know only of her glory and nothing of her history. How little they think on the sacrifices of the past. It troubles me. So we see like, what's the problems that are on these people's minds are very different from the ones on the people downstairs. It's like first world problems kind of thing. Money is like to a seed. Do you not agree? Keep it locked away. It is as something dead, yet use it poorly and will never live. There must be someone with use for my money, or I would have it live. And if I could but find the hands to tend it, I would gladly share its fruit. Oh, um, I'll share. I'll share some money with you. What a mind. Okay, so we talked to everybody on this screen. Now let's go this way. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood, fear the old blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A tutor by trade am I, yet of late unemployed. Why? My pupils transferred to Bajerba, leaving me to seek out a new charge. It's grown harder in recent years to pass the examinations, yet I have utmost confidence in my ability to prepare any student. Oh? Oh, my Reginald is quite the brightest child, I assure you. I blush to confess that he has his mother's wit. My beau and I have been working together of late. We've got quite a stack of chops to show for our troubles, too. Alright, let's head into the magic shop. Sweetling, foppish man, what's foppish mean? Sweetling, have you heard? My fr good friend Otto's gone missing. Oh, I heard, I heard. Fell in love with a, pardon me, tart. Down in old Arcadies, they say. He always was a character. Oh, I... I know Otto. This guy doesn't... He looks like he's from the Undercity. Bah! You must think me foolish. I doubt it not. I am a fool. I should never have left her behind in old Arcades to come here. She always dreamed of a place where we could be happy together. And it made her sad. She would spend hours gazing into the distance. Me? I gazed up at the city, so sure it held the answer that I was destined for greatness. But that was the most foolish dream of all. Oh, this is the chick who was staring off into the... Like, s staring forever. Chop master. Trade pine chops for sandalwood? Do I have pine chops? No, I don't. Are you sure you belong to the city? No, I'm not sure. What are pine and sandwich chops? Here in Arcadies, people spend their whole lives trying to get their hands on pine chops, and if they're lucky, a chop of final sandalwood. Gil, they're only good for buying and selling of goods. You can have all the gill in the world, and it won't buy you respect. Only chops of pine or a chop of sandal will win you that. You see, the chops represent your contrib contribution to the greater good of the empire. Common citizens might come by pinewood chops enough during their daily lives, but it takes a soldier or some great deed to earn sandalwood. What? That's the definition of your money's not good here. Don't bring me gill. Bring me some chops. 
Welcome, welcome. I'm sure you'll find our selection of magics befitting of the Empire's finest magical emporium. Ooh, Thundaga, thank you. I'll take that. Let's see. Fran should be able to use Thundaga. I don't imagine anybody else can at the moment. How do I get out of here? You were thinking of lamb chops? Ooh, lamb chops. Lamb chops play along? Judge's wife. Ooh. My husband was a judge, a fine one at that, filled with righteousness and justice. Our house is pride, the pride too of our burrow. It was his very own sense of justice that brought his end. To die attempting to save a child's life, and the child of a foeman, no less. How like him. Is he one of the judges we killed? Probably not. But it could be. You know... I'm off told I have a knack for magics. Of course, I've little coin to buy such things. I should be handling magics, not turnips. All right, what are you doing? Quit running around. My anniversary is coming up, see? Haven't got a lot of gill, but I still bought the missus something special. Can you guess what it is? A necklace. That's nice of you. I'm sure she'll love it. Did you see the mummer? Did you? I truly despise his kind. Who would, who would want to watch such rubbish? Can he possibly hope to glean enough gill by his prancing? To survive or raise a family? After all those years of training, to end up impoverished? What is a mummer? What is a mummer, guys? It will soon be my wedding anniversary. Whatever shall I give my dearest? That reminds me, I found the oddest thing, a fine necklace at the back of the wardrobe. If only I could remember where I bought it. But no matter, I've sold the thing now. <laughs> oh no, she sold his, his anniversary gift. <laughs> no. <laughs> we live well enough, but it's hard to save. I needed the guild to buy my dearest what he deserves. Aww. <laughs> it's kind of sweet. Somebody who makes mummies? No. A specific type of mime, you'd guess? An actor in a traditional masked mime, especially of a, <coughs> excuse me, of a type associated with Christmas and popular in England in the 18th and early 19th centuries. Oh. I love how um, the care the NPCs in here are connected. Like you'll, you'll get like, one side of like the story and the other side of the story you talk to two different people i much enjoy traveling seeing flora and fauna of faraway places except for those flora and fauna with teeth perhaps some armor is in order probably probably yes i would say okay ooh, let's go up here to the technics place <gasps> There's so many people. Okay, we're gonna talk to all of them. You're in the capital. If you take pride in your work and do right by your customers, anyone can make a decent, decent living. Now, your regular regular chops are made of pine, but the nobles use chops of sandal. Sweet smelling things, these. My girlfriend and I will get them someday. Seen a swindler about? Not that you'd know if you had. He's a master of disguise. Why? He dressed like me and walked off with my earnings. Oh. He dressed like you. I'll keep an eye out, I guess. I am Chancellor of the Academy of Magic. Sadly, there is little need for our art in this age of ready convenience. Applicant numbers are down. Indeed, the Academy itself may be to blame for placing profit above the pursuit of quality and instruction. If not quality, what have we, I ask? Mummer!
A traveling mummer taught me this one. Used to live here in the city, so he said. Mummer. Mum's the word. Oops, I'm going backwards. Hello? Did I talk to you? You're in the capital. If you take pride in your work and do right by your customers, anyone can make a decent living. Oh, I did talk to this guy. So it looks like there's, um, like there's lower class, middle class, and then upper class. So you got those who were, who trade in gill, um, and don't own any chops at the bottom. And then the pine and then the top of the sandal, sandalwood? For the nobles, the very top, top tier class. My dear husband's mother has asked for a trinket from Giza Plains. She's ever so particular though, so I'm having a Giza craftsman come here. Oh, to be a judge, to bring order and peace to the world, and that just in a morning's work. Oh, to be... How does one become a judge anyway? You don't... I don't think you want to. I came here all the way from Giza Plains to make some trinket, but I got separated from my guide on the road and couldn't find the client. There's no way I'll make it back home on my own. Here, I thought my fortunes were looking up. Ugh, is my woman going to steam about this? Oh, your client is literally right... Where'd she go? Right here. I think. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's any technics. That book I found last time is gone! It's just plain not here. Could have been sold. I knew I should have bought it when I had the chance. I stumbled upon a rather good book of technics the other day. Good as it was. It still missed out some of the best. So, the search continues. Muggle. Oh, a map! Yes! Yes! You mean a map? Map of the uplands and a map of Arcades. Oh no. I'm afraid. <gasps> Chopmaster. I'm researching the many varieties of technics. When I know everything there is to know, I'll write a book. A guaranteed bestseller. Ah, trying to learn some more technics impresses the ladies, but there are too many big words in these books. Hardly any pictures. <laughs> relatable. Very relatable. Look at this Moogle peering over the counter. It's so cute. <laughs> Is he, is he on a stool back there? Or is he just hanging on? I gotta know. Oh, I can't see. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, I can't see. He's probably just clinging on. Good day to you, sir. We have technics from far and wide, both new and old. Take a look around. I guarantee you shan't be disappointed. We'll see about that. Oh, uh, would you look at that? I'm disappointed. You don't have shit that I need. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <sighs> I mean, <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. It doesn't look that bad. Unless there's more, but this looks manageable. What time is it? 8.04? I gotta go. Shoot. Ugh, maybe we should stop here. This is a good spot to stop. Well, you know what we'll do is we'll explore this lower part and then we'll head over to the save crystal. What am I doing? I'm crying wares for the armors. You should have a gander if you need aught. When I get enough chops, I'll be right nigh in one of them gabs. And that'll be the end of all this. I'll be sitting pretty up in... 
I got an in it. <laughs> in it. <laughs> a new... A new employee of mine broke an instrument on his first day in the lab. I really want to give him some words of encouragement, but I'm so busy. At least she doesn't want to yell at him. That's nice. I've recently begun work at a laboratory. Just like heaven for me. Plenty to read and no one telling me I ought to otherwise. Why, the laboratory library is the envy of every student in the academy. There's no greater store of obscure texts anywhere in Ivelis. I yearn for some jewelry and one ring in particular, a rare blue diamond. I saw it just yesterday, yet we can ill afford such luxury. And you never know when we might need extra for an emergency. Still, my husband's enterprise has done well. I'm sure we'll soon have enough gill. All right, let's check out some weapons. It's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading back home to Falfenheim, but not by airship. Can't bear the things. Plan on taking the road through Sochin. Came here to get outfitted for the journey, but I got to thinking, what if I run across some beastie I can't handle along the way? Ah, uh, then you'll probably die. It's official. The Ministry of Law has announced that the Senate conspired to oust how Solidor and masterminded the Emperor's assassination. Ministry or no, these are lawless times, my friend. Good time to purchase some armor. Smart man. The forges of the Arcadian Empire are surely the best at weapon crafting in all evilies. It makes one think, what if one were to sell them abroad? One could make a healthy profit, an honest profit too. Not like those fat-bellied senators were skimming from imperial coffers. Makes one feel a fool for working at all. You could at least buy one of those spears. Or weren't you planning to defend me? But I've never used one of those things, dearest. What if I hurt someone? Ah, weapons and armor next to each other. All right, I just bought a bunch of weapons, but... Swords, seven? Katana, four. Maces, four. Okay, I think I can afford... Whoops. Oh, that's fine. Well. Can I be... Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay. No, Rune Blade, Sword 7. Oh, I didn't buy it. Oh, no wonder. Alright, what time is it? 8.20! Maduin gear, last nice callback to 6. Oh, yeah! You're right, I didn't even think about that. Alright, let's talk to a few more people and then we'll go save and then I gotta go. I made a mistake, a horrible mistake. I fear my superior is vexed, quite vexed. That instrument I dropped. Oh, oh dear. Ah, yes. I had a feeling we'd run into this guy. The enterprise at which I'm employed has fallen on hard times of late. This month, they've halved my wage. Halved! And things were going so well. I may not look it, but I'm quite athletic, you know. My family boasts from a grand line of gamesmen, renowned for excellence in both track and field. Oh, uh, interesting. The path to stardom is a difficult one, to be sure. To dance, to sing, all of this takes great effort, and of course, you must know how to act. I'm terribly sorry, darling, but I've given up the stage. No more autographs, please. Uh, very well. You may shake my hand. You must. Oh? You didn't want to... Pardon me. I assumed... I was an actress, you see. Quite famous in my day. I mistook you for an enthusiast. My apologies. Oh, at least she was nice about it. For many years, I researched but one thing. And when I retired, my daughter agreed to continue my work. 
how happy she made me. But the research, it knows no end. Someday I hope to see my daughter marry, bear children, but still this great work will not be done. Yet, it is not in vain, no. Even though my pace may be slow, progress is being made. Such is the many splendored thing that is scientific inquiry. I heeded my father's wishes and became a researcher at a laboratory, but my colleague's behavior has proven to be rather... odd. I've thought of this a great deal, and I've decided it's time to leave, yet my father was so happy, I haven't had the heart to tell him. Okay, let's see if we can get to this save point. I... I really love these little stories. It's, it's nice. It's nice. How do I... Ah. Only those with three or more chips may ride this cab, boy. Nothing personal, I assure you. Come on. A chop. What's that? Dude, I need to save. Do I need to leave the city to save? If you lack a chop? Well, I can save at the blue crystals. Just I can't teleport at those. So I guess I'm fine. If you lack a chop, you pay a coin. That's... One million gil, thank you. What? That's crazy. This guy again. Having a spot of trouble, are we? I have a message from Master Balthier. He's waiting in Central. He says to come quickly. Oh, this? But we need a, a chop. What is a chop anyway? When a boy wants information. That's right. A boy pays 2,500 gills. Sounds about right. Fine. <laughs> Here you go. Take it. Why? Any upstanding citizen of the Empire carries a chop? It's a mark of status sometimes. A writ of transit others. If you are aiming to go to Central, where the gentry live, I'd think you'd need three chops. How do you get them? Like I've said, the key is knowledge, boy. You do your part here on the street, talk to the right people, you'll earn your chops in no time. That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, people in Arcades love doing good deeds. Why, if they're helping you out, it must mean they're superior. Understand, boy? Uh, not sure I do. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Jules. A friend of Master Balthia's, a friend of mine. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was all about. But there's a crystal, save crystal over this way. So let's go save. And then I'm getting the heckity heck out of here. We still have to talk to all these people, but it didn't take too long. We'll hit up the shops and then we'll be on our way to Central. Wait, so, oh God. The Central, it doesn't look that big. <laughs> we'll see. Alrighty. Tomorrow. We'll continue. So we're in Arcades because we're looking, I'm, I was trying to figure out earlier today, trying to remember why we're here. So basically the gist of it, and correct me if I'm wrong, so I want to make sure that I'm on the right page here. We're on Arcade, we're at Arcades because we're looking for the, the dusk we have the dawn shard right so we're looking for the dusk shard which is the one that the empire took from us like earlier in the game and we don't want them to have it because well it's very powerful and we don't want them to have that much power and so we think that it's at this laboratory or like research facility or something like that 
Balthier's dad is like, he's like the main guy there or something. Did I get any of that wrong? Draclore Laboratory. Okay, so we're gonna go visit um, Balthier's daddy. So we've explored a lot of Arcadia, Arcades already. We just have to explore this little area down here. And we need to get pinewood chops. So we gotta figure that out too. But I, I gotta talk to everybody in this spot. So let's get back to it. Let's start way on this side. Hi, Lefty. Welcome in. Okay. Should you encounter any problems during your voyage, problems of any kind, just you call for me, ensuring your comfort and safety's me job. Thank you. Very kind of you. I've a large manse in the city, of course, yet I much prefer traveling. I live alone, you see. An extravagant lifestyle, I know. Okay, good for you. <laughs> What's a manse? Is it short for like a mansion? Like, yo guys, you gotta check out my manse sometime. It's hella lit. You guys wanna come to my manse? <laughs> I came here to meet up with an old streetcar friend of mine. What a war in this place is. I can't leave soon enough. Oh, street ear. I keep reading street ear as streetcar. I've never seen street and ear placed together in one word before and it's really throwing me off everybody just drives around in their street cars i guess according to my brain what are seek doing here a seek hater wow he's a hater their kind don't belong in Arcades. This is the empire for the love of gods, not a farm. Wow. Wow, you know what? Take your streetcar and get out of here. Lately, every other departing airship seems to be weighed down with the latest in construction technology from the empire. But don't be alarmed. We take great care to load everything with passenger safety in mind. There's no danger at all. Have a good flight. What? I wouldn't have needed any reassurance if you didn't freak me out by the first part of what you said. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we've been having some trouble with like the safety, but don't worry, We're, we got it under control. Like you could have just not said anything. Yes, a three timer. Whoa, the three timer of what, ma'am? Yes, I'm off to Bajerba again. Tis my third time. Oh, the views over her crystal spires, the sun setting below the clouds. I'll never tire of it. <laughs> We're off on a family trip to Rabanaster. See me, uh, one of, one of me relatives got himself arrested by a judge. And if we stay here, me dad's. Uh oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be telling you none of this. Me mom will go mad. Sorry. Kids. Kids, kids. Saying the darndest things. Tours of the aerial gardens in Bajerba are quite popular these days. Why, just a short while ago, I had to turn someone away from a full tour. Wouldn't you know that the next moment we had a cancellation? Pity, that poor lady did want to go. She must still be nearby. Commit this tale to memory. The aerial gardens memorized. Wait, say that again? In Bajerba? What are you doing here? Does she just do tours around the whole continent? Because we are not in Bajerba right now. I'm confused. Maybe. May, oh, may. Oh, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I'm slow. She takes people from here. They go into the aerodrome and they fly to Bajerba and they do a tour of the gardens and then they come back. Okay. That's pretty much how it goes. Sorry about that. 
Fresh vegetables. Get your fresh vegetables. Why, yes, they're all farm grown. None of those magic greens here. All natural, all delicious. Of course, people used to scoff at my greens, but the taste is undeniable. I have so many loyal customers now. I'm rather overtaxed. Oh, and I've run out of ears, too. Pardon? Why, ears of corn, of course. Wherever has my associate gone? We can't keep customers waiting. Can I commit two to memory at the same time? So this is how I'm going to get the, uh, the, the, the wood or whatever. What is, what is it called? Oh my god, there's too many. Can I only do one at a time? Headhunters employ gambits during battle to aid their judgment, correct? Now, what I've been pondering is, what about a gambit for the market? I know gambits can go awry if you don't keep an eye on them, but think of the coin you could make. Gil, gil, and more gil. That's worth any risk. I've been waiting for an item I've wanted for such a long time. The proprietor said she'd order one straight away, but that was over a month ago. I have my brother keeping an eye out for me, but he's not one of, to remember such things. Oh well, I suppose I shall have to make do without. Relate the tale of the gambit of the market. Does that perhaps have something to do with the items I've been waiting for? I didn't think so. Wait, so all these people that I talked to before that had like, they were connected in some way to a specific like problem? That was like for this, but I just couldn't do it yet because I hadn't tried to go to the, uh, the other side of Arcades, right? One at a time, also high. Okay. Oh, Gambit for the market. All right. I'm sorry. I cannot help myself. I'm in love. With whom? Tis a secret. Why I have not told ever him. Why not? Well, I wrote a letter, an epistle to love, and I'll not confess my love until that letter finds its way back to my hand. Romantic, no? Relate gambit for the market. I'm terribly sorry, but I have a far greater concern than that. Uh... I had thought to vacation in Bajerba, you see, but I run a small enterprise and I just haven't been able to find the time. To my good fortune, I was recently permitted to go on leave. Straight away, I went to reserve a ticket, and to my misfortune, the tour was full. Oh, wait, okay, so... Tour leader. God, news for you, lady. There's an oh, a spot just opened. What's that? A cancellation? Wonderful. My gratitude for coming to tell me. Every good deed deserves a chop. Tis custom. Here's yours. Yay, I got a pine wood chop. So I only need three of them, right? I don't have to like do every single one of these and connect them, right? The main decision here is whether to just get the three chops you need to progress or get them all and get access to a new area of the city, which you could do later. The pairings are always within the same area, but there are pairings in each of the four outdoor areas. Is it worth it to go to the other area of the city? Okay, she, so... Shoot. Okay, so the gambit... What is she waiting for? Waiting for an item. I have my brother keeping an eye out, but he's not one to remember such things. Well, let me commit one of them to memory. Do you have one, green cellar lady? Oh, she's run out of ears. Ra 
branches requisites greetings and welcome to the one store with all that you require we even post bills for wanted marks inside adventurers take note Ooh. Ooh. hi will how you doing anybody got some ears in here some ears hello there if you're after requis uh requisites requisites You've come to the right place. And there's also a notice board upstairs if you fancy doing a bit of hunting. Me? I enjoy just reading about the fiends out there. Maybe I'll go on a hunt myself once someday. Make a few gill, get into scrapes. Sounds brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Sometimes you come to these places and you make an incredible find. Not today, though. Perhaps I should try my luck at the bazaar. I'm guessing for the pairings, they're all outside. Honestly, these people, they come up from the country and they stare and they stare. But do they buy? Never! Maybe they lack the necessary coin, but... Oh, but I do grow weary of this. Hi, Ian. Hi, party. Welcome in. I've been writing novels in between trips. Each one I think to make a moving tale of tragic love, the sort that make grown men weep rivers. But when I sit down to read what I've written, I find it quite happy, droll even. Why can I not write something truly miserable? <laughs> I don't know. Hello there, you haven't dropped a letter, have you? You see, I found one in the street and I couldn't help but um, read it. It said, this is an epistle to love. Really, I have have I released it? Should it return to me, then shall my love be made true. And that was all. Odd, wouldn't you agree? I do wonder what it all means. I feared for a moment that were I to find the writer, I would be propositioned on the spot. A groundless fear, but caution never hurts. Okay, um, we're looking for the ear person for right now. The ears of corn or whatever. They gotta be here somewhere. You have corn? Oh, I do so love to cook. Why, the other day, I held an impromptu party at my house and had a new dish of mine to my closest, closest acquaintances. Was it ears of corn? Why, they told me it was to taste, a t to tantalize the tongue of a philosopher of cuisine, yet their faces were sour as old Nana cheese. My new dish was terrible, I'm sure of it. I've invited them back, of course, to no reply. Could it have truly been so bad? Wow. That's rough. Don't give up. Keep trying. You'll get there someday. My nephew's collecting these gambit things, so I thought I'd see what all the fuss was about. I must admit, they're prettier than I, uh, I expected. Huh. Is it like trading cards? I'm trying to explain gambits to my dear mother, but she fails to grasp the most basic concepts. Perhaps if, perhaps if I took her to battle next time. Well, I don't know if that's a great idea. I went to battle once. A commander I was. Ah, I remember my gambits as though it were yesterday. There's so many new gambits these days, tis hard to tell one from another. All right, we don't need any gambits because we've already purchased them all. Getting some chops. I have one so far. I have one whole chop. Oh, this is the chef. <gasps> me? I've been running around all about town trying to sell enough greens to please me partner. She wants to build a farm out in Cheetah, see? Ah, uh, what was she saying she'd run out of again? Noses of something? Nah, that weren't it. Huh, no time for pondering. Gotta sell, sell, sell. Ears of corn! Wait, what happened to my... I thought I got the ears of corn thing again. Oh my goodness. What have I done? I thought I committed that one to memory. That's weird. What a swore I did. Does it go away if you enter a shop? Ah, 
ears of corn. That was it. Dang about, I remember seeing an empty corn bin at the storehouse. She's probably forgotten there's none left. Making a fair few gill is all well and good, but when you're too busy, you start forgetting stuff. Here's a chop anyway. Thanks for reminding me. Hey, I got a chop. I got a chop. I got a chop. I got a chop, 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 chop. Okay, so I think we can go to this lady. Uh, Is it you? No, she's waiting for an item. Um, must be you, romantic lady. She wrote a letter. Wait, I can't commit it to memory? Oh, I have to do him and then her. Wrote a letter. Relate the tale. How did you know of that letter? Wait. Does this mean my no love is not to be? Mm -hmm. You've... You've not come to return my letter? My, how foolish I must have seemed. I'm so sorry. So he did pick up my letter. How do you know who it was? Because I placed... Oh, how do I know who it was? Because I placed it in such a way that he would see it first, of course. Being sure to stay out of sight. Many thanks for coming to tell me. Nice to know fate has triumphed once more. Here's a chop. I don't understand what just happened here. Here it is. Ah, I see you have some shop, some chops, sir. Splendid. To Cenoble, take me there. All aboard. That's cool. Ah, so pleased you could join me. Jules had a morsel for us. A light airship used by Draclor researchers is just up ahead. We'll take that and go in through the service entrance. Let's make haste, shall we? Okay, a whole new area to talk to everybody. Oh, are there pairings here too? Hope not. I used my last sandal to pay off my creditors. That's why I'm taking this cab down to Nilbasi. If I go down there, I shan't be coming back. Not until I've earned my status once again. Starting from scratch at my age. <sighs> no pairings here? Okay, good. Let's touch this crystal. Actually, I better save just in case some, something critical happens, you know? Power outage or something. I think that we have an auto save, but just to be safe. I don't want to have to redo all those pairings. Although it would probably take me like three minutes. An ardent, are you? I'm Gentry. I expect to be addressed as such, peasant. <laughs> um. <gasps> the time is ripe for. Oh, we're oh we're in the high high class area now. I forgot. Okay. Hold on to your butts, guys. The time is ripe for enterprise. I say to brave the markets, make some gill, and reach for the stars. Speak not to me, but Enterprise! How about the Starship Enterprise? Only those with sufficient chops are allowed in this area, sir. If you wish to go higher up, you'll need sandals. Sandalwood chops, that is. Hey, uh, More chops. So much time and not to do. Mayhap I'll pester some soldiers. The chase alone would be good for a lark. Oh. At least that one didn't call me a peasant. The complices of the Senate have been quelled, Your Honor. Our forces sustained but light casualties. You'll have leave to withdraw. 
One detachment will remain here to guard Draclaw. My lord. Do you think they're on to us? It would seem not, though this will make our task more difficult still. We can handle it. Did you see that judge just now? I think I heard him say something about the Senate. It sounded as if something was afoot. Afoot? Quite a view from up here, wouldn't you say? Yes, there's nothing quite so satisfying as looking down on other people, is there? <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, they're literally looking down on people. Jeez. I do wish these soldiers would leave the running about to the children. All that clanging of metal. What a cacophony. Terribly sorry, but there's been an emergency. No one is allowed to enter Central at this time. Please come again. What? No entry to Central at this time and refrain from suspicious behavior until things settle down. You know what I mean. Wait, so when things settle down, I can be suspicious? Is that what you're saying? to Draclor Laboratory. How do I do that? We find a different way in. Certainly took your time getting here, didn't you? Off seeing the sights, perhaps? Not likely. You know how long it took to get the chops to get up here? What's that? But I gave Jules some chops. Jules. Tisk tisk. A squad of judges has been sent to Draclor. You'll find the service entrance rather a difficult proposition, I'm afraid. You're doing, no doubt. You knew how the Ministry of Law would move, so you had Vaughn out collecting chops until the judges could reinforce Draclor. Of course. Tell me, how much did the Ministry pay for word of the prodigal son? The Ministry? Oh, judges make poor customers, my friend. Too many rules, too many laws. Perhaps you didn't know, Master Balthier, that Draclor is a toy box these days, filled with your Lord Father's conceits. All developed without the Senate's knowledge, of course. Why, not even the Emperor knew the full extent of Dr. Sid's operations. Now, here's the catch. Since Vane had himself declared dictator, nary a peep has come out, come out of that laboratory. I know people who would sell their own mum for the nearest scrap of information about the goings-on inside Draclor. People like... Rosarian sympathizers worried about the Empire's weapons program and anyone else who might be opposed to House Solidor hegemony. So, we create a disturbance, and you get your windfall of dirt on Draclor. And in exchange for your service, I've spoken to a cabbie. When he asks where you want to go, tell him you know where to go. Simple, no? Ah, a deal, brokered in true Arcades fashion. Why, it's just like old times, Jules. Brings a tear to my eye. Good to be back, eh? My regards to your lord father. Mr. Fomram, or Master Balthier. Anon, anon. What? Flim flam? On to Draclor Laboratory. Wait, so now what do I do? Something about causing a disturbance and I don't know, I guess I have to go back on the thingy bobber. I 
I got lost when Balthier started talking about hegemonies. Oh, you know where to go. This is the guy I talked to. Anyone for Nilbasi? You know where to go. You want to go there, eh? You sure? Let's go. All right, all aboard. So, this Jules, is he some old friend of yours, Balthier? You two seemed close. Close enough for fisticuffs. Driver, faster if you please. I would be loath to expend any of my, the violence of my present mood on my companions. Sir? Yes, sir. Balthier is uh, not looking forward to any of this. <laughs> it seems. the voice acting <laughs> i want to hear the voice actors in this i don't want to have to do all so much voice acting i mean i don't mind doing it but i want to hear the voice actors performances <laughs> 